hi how are you my people my beautiful viewers i am excited but i'm happy to be here i'm happy to be alive i know you are happy to be alive we thank god for the gift of life we thank god for protection we thank god for everything for keeping us guys give god the glory thank you lord for the gift of life because without you guys without god but we thank god that we are here guys covid achalio if you don't have to come into town do not and if you have to wear your mask and physical distance wash your hands with clean running water both inside and outside and in between the fingers so that oberanga or saving abant bo nobla mbo na abant bo sinka na mikwano jo and your family as well i am excited i'm here with my sister my friend my other friend from my other sisters from my, you know those and things colleague. and colleague all those things she's called tanya shakira kahindi <laughs> Tanya is known for her roles in um, Power of Legacy and Bunjako. But she's done so many other roles. She's going to tell us. Tanya, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good Aggie. to have you. It's good to have Finally, you. Finally, you made it. Ah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> now you have been hard. I know, but but it, uh, no, it is life. Please. Which life? life has been going on. I know. For all yeah. of us, now, Mama, I thank God that you made it mm, today. And when I saw go. it rain, I was like, oh. The rain. It's good to have yes, you on the it's show. It's good to have you as well. <laughs> I mean, it's good to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for buying us time to come on the show. Mm. So, who's Tanya and how long have you been in the industry? Oh, well, my name is Tanya Shakira Kanyindi, but you know, you pronounce it whichever way because <laughs> it's written a certain way and it's pronounced a, you know, a certain way. Yeah. And is, is, is that Ugandan? Yeah. Okay. I am Ugandan. I just asked. Of because Rwandan it's, origin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, because that, that, that's, the sound of your name is different. Yeah. As in from the way it's written and the way it's pronounced. Because it originates from Rwanda. Oh, yes, okay. But, mm. Okay, so who's Tanya again? Well, I am an actor. I am a voiceover artist. I am a public relations manager. I do a bit of, you know, everything in the creative industry. I don't, I mm. don't necessarily like to box myself. Yeah. And how long have you been in the industry? About nine years. Now? Nine years. Yeah, it's been nine years. Yeah. Uh, when you realized you wanted to act, did you get the support from your parents? How did you just did you just wake up and you're like, mm. or did you go to school about it? Did you? I mean, how did mm. it come about? Mm, well, I um, thankfully, you know, I've been blessed to have a very supportive mom who I grew up most mostly with. So she. I, I, I told her that I wanted to join acting and I wanted to do it the right way. I'm not just going to get into, you know, any auditions of people that I do not know. So when I saw this ad, um, when Mariam Dagiri was calling people to come and, and, um, and be a part of, of her classes, I, I was intrigued. Mm. So I joined Mariam and Dagiri Film and Performing Arts Center and that's basically how the journey began wow yeah. so mm. your mom was like ah i'm good with this yeah yeah she, she, obviously she said as long as you go to school because mm. it was at an early age i was straight out of high school so mm. for her it was important that i i balance if i want to do that fine but there's school as well so i did mm. okay so when you you now you've decided you're like now i'm going i'm going to this but what moral lesson have you learned mm. as an actor or lessons that you've learned by doing what you do Mm. moral lessons don't sell yourself short you need to know your worth all the time because people are always going to make you feel like you're less of that so that they could take advantage of that and maybe mm -hmm. you know treat you less so know your worth don't sell yourself short and practice 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 always i have learned this uh, because Usually when a job comes, we do the job and then we go and sit home and wait mm. for another job. Yeah, yeah. Or we do other things mm. um, that give us money and wait for another acting job that is coming by. Which I think is very, very unhealthy for a performer yes. to, to do that. You need to always be performing. That is how you get a, a different person with every job, which it has to come with. Mm. So what happens with, with, with not practicing is... 
you will end up being the same person from the one they saw in the previous work. Yeah, because you haven't been practicing. Yes, because yeah. you haven't. Yeah, you've been rusty. That's that where you stopped is where they brought you back from. If there's another gig that comes by, let's say you're doing your other things, you come by. Where you stopped the acting skill, everything, it it's, comes yeah. back. Yeah, it stays oh. somehow. So practice, practice, practice. Know your worth. Mm, mm. Don't stop. Don't stop pushing. Yeah. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yeah, because some people will tell you that I never used to be good at timekeeping. Yeah. But with this, because if you don't get to set the way you're supposed to at the time you're supposed to, yes. then yeah. Yeah. So then it's, it shapes you into some. Then you, you know, don't have money at the end of the day, they are going yes, to cut your money. Yes. I mean, it's discipline. Filmmaking is discipline. And I think this is what people out there do not, do, do know. not know. They don't see it. They think. Or film is get to set, do your hair, makeup, and then go and look, look pretty. Look good and just yeah. It's discipline. You have to get there at a certain time. You have to behave a certain way. You have to address your 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 concerns or whatever to a certain person. You've got to. It's it's basically like a normal workplace. It's just that ours is a bit probably more glamorous, but it is a discipline. And if you do not have discipline. And I don't know if, if it has happened to you or if you have mm. had it, mm. whereby people don't think that this is work. Like yeah. they, they, they always think, ah, by the time you become a, an actor or actress, you, you failed at so many different things. You're like, this is your last resort. You're like, but they have no idea how much work it actually takes to be an I actor. I know. They it's not know. easy, guys. <laughs> it's not easy. No. It's, it's actually, if anything, Actors and actresses are the most learned people. Ask me why. Mm. Because you have to, to be to, exactly, different people. Exactly. You have to be different people. How are you going to be those different people if you have not studied those If you've people? not researched. You've not researched. Exactly. So you've got to know a bit of everything. You have to, to do research. You have to read. You have to watch. You have to listen. And everywhere that you are, there's experience. So you've got to watch. But also be in that moment because you're there with your friends or whoever. Mm, mm. You This, we do an extraordinary job eh? and we're just ordinary people true today so, you're a doctor next day you're going to be a lawyer the other day you're going to be a pilot as in you can be it anything. has happened to me yeah. um because you, you you asked about it it has happened to me that uh, my family members even some of them did mm. not actually see this as a job mm, and mm. i take my craft very very seriously if i am going to be on a job it is a job it is a responsibility to to my viewer it is a responsibility to my producer and my director to to become that person yes so i started acting and it was it looked looked at as a joke at family functions they would actually single me out and one uncle would single me out and actually ask me so those things are they bringing you money what you're doing hmm? Hmm. then they look at you they have to seize you up like, mm. yeah, like um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it if you are not passionate enough eh? and, yeah. and very maybe strong-headed and you, you know you look you, if you don't have a goal you you would give up very easily it's I, very I think easy. passion is the word as in because there's when you have a goal but someone can easily talk you out of it yeah that's but true. when you're passionate about something yeah. it does not matter what happens what mm. comes your way you're like mm, yes this is happening but me i want this yeah 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 I, so I know i know that feeling because i'm there or i've been there where mm. you are everyone is like oh this one is an engineer oh this one started this right yeah, this one is doing they, yeah. they don't know that when they get back home from their heavy lifting or whatever it is that they're doing they need to be relaxed and they need to be entertained exactly. and this is a must every day so how are you going to disrespect a craft that gives you happiness joy laughter sadness whichever makes you feel all these things because makes we, you relate yes we come on your screen and make you relate and make you feel and make you uh, sympathize and 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 where are you going to get that from you and now speaking you know, of all those things do mm. you do you do this as a full-time kind of job or mm. do you have a side hustle you know ugandans we are known especially our industry yeah some extent may i think i'm like over saying that word to take a more would they were like mm -hmm. this is what i'm doing hey, i will go to every length mm. every height mm. to, to, do, to this. do this now you know sometimes it like you said it doesn't give you everything you'd need in, so in, you find, yeah. find yourself you know branching doing, branching off mm. to do other things that might bring in an everyday kind of yeah. you know mm. those things so do you have any any other things since mm. we are known to be entrepreneur mm. so do you have any side things mm. that you do for 
when you're not yeah. acting? Of course. That bring but in money. Number one, I treat acting as a, as a full-time job. Yes. I treat it as a full-time job. I treat it as my only job. But I do have supplements. And I call them supplements yes. because this is, you know, your what main. I'm This doing. is your main. Yes. And this, uh, yes. But, yeah, yeah, I do have a few establishments here and there, okay. small ones. Nice. But I will tell you all about it in the future, by the way. Yes. I'm planning to go social media and that's, all. That's, that's digital. good. Yeah, that's so nice. But it's it's always it's good important for it's, every yeah. for every actor to to have something on the side because well then this industry is not designed for us to be to eat and be comfortable on our craft. No, so you need to always always have something. Okay, so I have known you to have done a few, mm. but uh, it, feel free to tell us more that you've done that we might not know about. Like for example, me I know you in mm. Power of Legacy. I mm. know you in Bunjako, mm. but I. I don't know the yeah, other projects you might have done. So mm. kindly let the, our viewers, mm. your fans, mm. your lovers, the lovers of what you do, mm. maybe look up for your work. Because if you say, oh, I actually did this, I was even in this, they would go like, oh, yeah. really? Mm. That's my girl. I must go and watch this. So mm. what are some of those other things that you did or mm. you've done? I've, I've been in quite a couple of films, although they, most of them don't get to come out. We are still <laughs> waiting for them I know, to come I know, out. I know. I think that's the pain of every actor anyway. Um, so I have been in uh, Invisible Cuffs. Uh, it actually got me a nomination for Best Actress in the Uganda Film Festival 2016. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I know the feeling of being nominated. Yeah. So it makes you feel like, oh, I'm yeah. recognized and I'm good. For this craft, I'm yeah. this good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there was... So um, that's Invisi Invisible Cuffs. Yeah, Invisible, Inv Invisible Cuffs, yes. I think it's even on YouTube or something. Okay. Search Invisible Cuffs. And um, there was the coffee shop. My very first um, TV appearance was the coffee shop on Urban TV. And um, it was a TV series. Mm. Yeah. I remember so. coffee shop. It was like the talk of... Everyone was like, hey, yeah, right. we, all wanted, we all wanted to be in the coffee shop. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was a hassle also to get in there. You know how they post auditions on national television and everyone who is anyone wants I'm to go and audition. Hey, <laughs> yeah. TV zone. That's what usually happens. Yeah. Mm. So there was a coffee shop. I have been, I've been blessed to be in two very good, uh, successful stage plays by John Segawa. The mm. first one, yeah, the first one was called Gasuze Ntate. And that was... Gasuze Ntate. Gasuze Ntate. Gasuze Ntate. Yeah, Amaka yeah. Gasuze Ntate. It was uh, in 2015, I think. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that was my very first stage play. And then the next one was very recently, 2019, Zan Sanze. Zan Sanze, yeah, I yeah. know. I remember when we were actually premiering Bed of Thorns. We were it, doing it, It's about the same Around time, the yeah. the same weekend, mm. yeah. Yeah, so... Zan Sanze has also been a blessing of mine because I got such a very phenomenal role. Mm. I got to, to play. Eh, you will read about it. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes. And, um, oh, whoops, I can't remember most of I know, that yeah. Maybe sometimes when they ask me, like, you remember the most recent ones? Yeah. And then sometimes, yeah. They uh, get, they no, get I off. understand. Mm. So, uh, speaking of uh, the stage plays that you've been part of, yeah. what's the difference between stage and mm. film? according to you mm. since you've done both yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i've been blessed to do both they're, they're quite they're quite different they're actually totally totally different you've got to have a different skill for stage um from the one for for for, for film for for tv because with stage it requires you to use your entire being at the same time continuously you get okay. your body, your voice, your your your, your aura, your emotions, everything, and it has got to to move at, at at a certain rhythm with your with your with your dialogue, if you have any, mm. or your song, whichever it is. With film, you use mostly. Obviously, there'll be those times where you have to walk in and out, and you're mm. using your entire mm. body, mm. but mostly you are using your upper body. And sometimes we get lazy mm, down. Mm, and mm. they put you in a, in, a, in a long shot and you don't know what to do with your arms because you're used to... Yeah, because to you're used always to, getting, yeah. yeah. So with film, you only deal with this. They're dealing with the emotions in the eyes. you basically your face, your face mostly yeah. and your voice as opposed to your entire... Your, oh, yeah. that's nice. But at yeah, least, so you, like you said, you've been blessed to experience... Yeah, it's, it's a blessing, you know why? Because being on that stage... 
performing, feeling everything in the moment, people's reactions That's in the moment. That's very important. It, there is another kind of energy that comes from it. It's, it's far much better than being on a screen where you have to do a take more than three times. And all it gets and you know boring. What's so even. funny when I was getting into film, mm. uh, my first director that time mm. made me feel like theater was way too low. Bad. Like it was uh, every time I would be rehearsing mm. and 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 I do my hands, you know, like mm. <laughs> well, mm. some of these things come Jump naturally. You know, yeah, naturally. Yeah, we're very and expressive yes, people. Yes, and then he's like, "Come on, stop being theat theatrical." I, this is film, my friend. Mm. This, it's At least afuneyo abantu ba training. Playwrights. We need to bring back people in the theater. We need to bring back people to our industry. How are we going to bring them back when we're putting them on, on a TV station that is high for Yeah, but a, I, 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 I hate person. to break this to you. Mm. If you have noticed, even mm. people who used to be so much into to theater, theater are diverting, are crossing over to film. Because we, because we are the ones that are making them believe that film is it. We are making it look cool. We are, we, we are coping things left, right, center. We don't even know what we are doing. And, and we, we, we are showing films and we are calling them Ugandan films. Ugandan films and stories actually come out best in theater. In theater. Ugandan stories and, and Ugandan experience, that entirety of it comes out in the theater. I do not know how people, our people have, have lost so much hope in us Maybe because of the structures that we have. Look at our national theatre now. Mm, mm. You know, that the theatres that we, we have lately. Maybe they, they're not the ones that are enticing people to come and actually watch our productions. But I strongly, strongly believe in the theatre. Because theatre is where you get the core of, of, of the acting for film. You will not be a good actor if you have not experienced theatre. Because it teaches you control. It teaches you all these things. Imagine you are acting and in the moment something is funny or it's making people cry and they are crying with you right there and you have got to keep your cool and go on with the performance because this is what you, you are required, you're supposed to do. Imagine that exhilaration. For any performer, I think that that's all you need. People to watch you, people to... to, 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 to to, to sympathize with you or to relate to you in the moment, in the same space, yet it feels like you're so far away from them. Okay, let's say you had power mm. and money mm. and whatever it takes to do a few things here and there, what would you do? In the, what would you change about our industry? Obviously, I would revitalize. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> but basically, like... <laughs> <laughs> remake our okay. our national theater make it make it make it better make it um more more inviting and then i would invest so much in the playwrights and call call back the all those people that started uh, first i can't i can't even think of a name straight off the top mm. of my head but yeah basically put more energy into our theater because if this grows Nothing will be hard. We are just pulling. No, let, let, me, let me tell you something. I was blessed, like you said. Mm. I was blessed to travel out of the country. Yeah. And I saw this place where there was a theater of 15,000. As in, it is, it is a, a country's heritage. It's, it is so it, big. Yes. It is so nice. Yes. It sits, as in, not sitting like the audience on stage. It, can, it accommodates 15,000 actors at the same time on the same stage. Imagine wow. how big that is. And imagine what it would do to our industry. It would industry. be so prestigious, even for the country. I'm imagine how you. much revenue it pulls through. I'm telling you. And I'm thinking these people are so much into, you know, the plays and what. Yes. And suppose they would not come up with something like that if it was not. No, it is us to make them interested in these plays. People are ready to receive our, our content. People are ready to watch us. People love us. Our people do love us. We are failing them. Yeah, now speaking of We are the ones that are making them 
we, we need to encourage them to entice them to come to the theater and by that and also we need involve to make them because when yes. they are in the theater they are actually they feel like they are part of this yes. whole thing and also omuzanyo go luzungu te gunyuma omuzanyo go luganda ogumanyi omuzanyo go luganda gunyuma well, because they are speaking a language you understand you will get all the tweaks and all the turns and you will enjoy yourself it will involve you all the I, I wish, I wish, I wish, you I know. Know, in the near future, <laughs> we give, we, we, our people come back to the theatre. I, I long to see a day. Yeah, because come to think of it, now that we're talking about theatre and film and the differences and all that, mm. do you know that right now mm. you can do a film and call out for like the premiere or baby tango, bichi bichi? And you don't see people. people. But those days, because me, on, on I don't know how many weekends consecutively, I would go to Bati Valley mm. to sit down and just love my, love my head off. Ngandaba Mizanyo Jinos, Mani, you know those, those mm. damn titles. Mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, they all died out. Yeah. I don't know why, but those things were nice. Ngo, them stress the other whole week and all that. Nga weekend. Mm. You sometimes would miss out on Gwasawa Msamu Gujude, Msamu Nana. Yeah, we're not booking in advance. Until 10 in the night. But my dear, I think it became so monotonous. Also, it's, it's, a part, it's, 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 a part, it's a part, it's partly our fault and partly, you know, the, the public losing mm. hope in, in eh. us. Okay, mm. now, mm. You, you, of course, like I said, you've, you've been part, you've been in the, in the power of legacy, like you've been in Bunjako. Which mm. of these roles, of any of the roles you've done, was mm. most, like, intimidating, and how did you overcome that? Mm. The most intimidating role I have had to play has been Rachel. Who's Rachel? Rachel on Power of Legacy. Okay. Until this, this day, it pains me. I feel like I didn't give her enough. Oh, yeah, I think it happens to enough. me too. Sometimes after I've done everything mm. and the movie is probably out and done, I yeah. still feel like I wish I had a chance to, yeah. to redo this. Yeah, but that hunger is good. I have been, I have been um, made to believe lately because of the things that I've been reading that that hunger, that feeling like you didn't do enough is good. That means you're going to do better next, next time. But time. still, it pains like hell. So um, Rachel was very intimidating, number one, because she was, she was the one carrying the story of this show. I had never had a role that huge, one, as a person. Two, a role that is that, is that mature. It, it matures with time, obviously, not at the beginning, but still. Mm. The, the, the things that she was going through, the wave of her, of her life was, was running faster than my momentum could could you know keep up something mm. like that mm. so i i was very intimidated by Rachel. very intimidated so how did you but overcome it it's it's time it's time Aggie. I, I i don't even want to tell you that i use this method or whatever you give yourself time i the problem with us is most times we want things to be perfect like you know, on, on the dot, everything is to be perfect in, in episode one and episode two. And it's humanly impossible. <laughs> Even with all these people helping you on the set, with your co-actor also working with you, it's impossible to have it perfect. It, you have got to leave this character mm. um, with a, a few more days for you to get acquainted with that character. A few, you know, when you get time with this role and even the people that you're working with, you get better. You become more confident. So for me, it really was about giving her time and allowing her to grow. I was hushing her because I wanted her to, to be perfect so fast that I forgot that she's a human being that needed to feel the things that she was feeling and go through that process until she gets to a, plus, uh, to a, ta to a part or uh, you know, a time where she's mature enough to, 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 be, to be you know, confident and make her own decisions and stuff like that. Yeah, so time. I know. Mm. Oh, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Mm. Okay, so now uh, you haven't gotten the role yet. Mm. And uh, how did you actually like be picked? Because mm. let me tell you a story. Uh -huh. <laughs> One day, mm. I'm just there, and someone calls me and is like, Aggie, Olavia Akalango, Kose Kalidida, NTV, they are calling for actors. What's your baby? Five in the morning. You I was reached. number 1000, one, something like that. As in, I was like, no, I like I I got there at six thirty. The people had been there five. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just wondering, how did you get this? How did what was the process like for you to actually get this role? 
My dear, I am very grateful to Milka Irene because she's the one that called me for that okay. audition. And I hadn't even spoken to her in a while. She just, you know, randomly calls me this very early morning at 6 a.m. Where are you? Come for auditions at NTV. Me, I hadn't even seen the, uh, that, the notice. Mm. So I, I didn't even want to go. I had a job already. I was working with Waiki Benda as his public relations manager. So I had a job to do even that day. But I said, okay, fine. Before work, I'm just going to go pass by. Pass by and see. Mm. Yeah, you know how auditions are. You pass mm. by and see. <laughs> So I got there at like around 9 a.m. Mm. I was number 1,160. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I said, I shall not wait. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Eh, eh. There were a lot of people. Yeah. I waited. I auditioned at 2. What about work for that day? I called in and said I'd be coming in late. I auditioned. I auditioned that too. Because I, I stayed, I was there, Milka phoned me, leaving. She's like, you have already come all this far. You even have a number, you're not going anywhere. You stay. Bambi, I'm so grateful. And, and, and what are the odds? You see how the universe works? What are the odds that she gets picked to, to play my best friend in the series? Like, the universe works. I know, so yeah. This, I mean, most times I, be, I feel like it's, it's, um, it's um, some type of power, some... Some type of eh, higher power than us that yes. usually makes sure our stars are aligned and we have got to move in a certain way. Yeah, I got there. I auditioned the first time. Mm. We, we went home three weeks later. They called for another audition. I auditioned again three weeks later. You see, this is, this is I'm trying to show people that are watching that it takes a while sometimes. Sometimes it may take a week. Sometimes it takes such a long while after your audition for people to get back to you. And so you're trying to tell us that you should not lose it. You do not, like, don't wait on the audition. Don't yeah. go to audition and then you sit and wait. When, I, when are they calling? And, uh, they okay. will wait, take actually, before, before you even go any further, mm. is it okay for me to call and check in on? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, don't laugh. Uh -huh. Okay, I have auditioned. Uh, yes. And, and then one week, two weeks, three weeks, and I'm like, Man, I think I should call Tanya. Mm. Tanya, what's up? I audition. Oh, my dear. Do not call. Do not call the people that auditioned <laughs> you. No, for whatever reason, do not call. If they have not called you, okay. they obviously do not need you for some reason. Unless, unless there are people now. I have heard of Nana Kaga saying mm. she would love somebody if they asked her what went wrong in the audition, so that next time if you're auditioning for her or any other person, you fix that problem. But me, I think, mm. I think you as a person who's who's the owner of the project, mm. who called for the auditions and yeah, all that, you need I to. think you need to get back to people. I know it might be hard and, yeah. and, and not necessarily, but I think it would be nice for you to, like, like if you thought Aggie would be that person, mm. but then for some reason she doesn't fit what you're looking for, mm. don't you think you it would explain. be nice for you to just tell, you know what, Aggie? Yes. We received your, your, your whatever yeah. it is, that your tape and all that, but mm. because of A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. you, know, you know. I've heard Nana does it. I've heard Nana Kaga does it. I don't know. Yeah, but most people don't. Most uh, people keep you in the hands. Yeah, because I don't know why. And they should... They're trying to save their airtime. Like, I'm looking for a reason why I, you I think they just, just decide not to do it because they're like... Mm, like, they can't deal with that. Yeah, it, it's... I mean, you didn't Ooh. fit. You and yeah, you didn't fit. You didn't fit. It's a job. At the end of the day, they're not going to babysit you and say, oh, we are very sorry for not... No. Okay, so but, you're saying, let me take you back. You mm. waited three weeks, three weeks, and then... Yeah, hmm? three weeks. Second audition, three weeks. Third audition. We went through, like, a series of those auditions until they paired us up and then the project you know kicked in with rehearsal fittings and and all and it's been a beautiful journey ever since and, and you didn't have to pay anyone for that no i didn't have to pay no i'm just saying because mm. some people say with, for you to get such a role on such a, a big tv series or yeah. production yeah, you must use the back door somehow not at all don't you even think about it in fact if they ask you for money at an audition run do not audition for those people nobody asks for money at an audition just like when you go to a to a job interview do they ask you for a registration fee no it's a job you understand nobody asks for 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 money and, and no i didn't have to pay anybody ntv is, is is a very very respectable brand it 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 works on merit you know you work on merit 
if you come and you, you're good in an audition, you're good, you go through. It's, if you come and you're a good presenter, you're good, you go on TV. It's, there's no, I know so and so. Let me call them. Who? No. No. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm still with Tanya here, and we're talking about auditions and how she got into, uh, how she got so lucky to play yeah. Rachel in Power of Legacy. If you guys have watched it, if you haven't, look for it, it's out there. It's we'll so be right Facebook. back. We are going to a short break, and we'll be right back. I'm still with Tanya. Catch you soon. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. No, no, I don't agree with you. You're staying home. Why would you want to go to a place that you barely know? And you call that a good thing? So you are practically providing police security to your own daughter? Yes, of course, indeed. <laughs> Something is wrong in this forest. I can't just to tell you that. What's that supposed to mean? It means you cannot have one man in your life. I don't think. Sharon just sent me a text. She says she's pregnant. How could I have been so stupid? Don't say that. Do you want to tell me about your ex-boyfriend? He said he only beat me because he wanted to make me a better person. I need to borrow some money. How much are we talking about? 100 million. What? It's not easy get over the loss of someone you love. But whatever you choose to do, you need to do it carefully. I believed him at first, but now I feel so foolish sometimes. They want to close down my place. The coffee shop? But why would they do that? It is my license. It expired? I do not have one. What? Christine can help. It's not you, Monica. Which one of you is out of this place? We have orders to close this establishment and seize all the property that belongs to Mrs. Adam to I'll do some. But you didn't even give her any notice. Time for questions is finished. Out. Oh dear. She's putting me staring at me. But she doesn't know you. I know. Why are we whispering? <laughs> Hey, 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 welcome back from that short break. It's good to have you. It's good to know that you guys are still watching. When I keep watching Movie Money, I'm still here with your girl, Tanya Shakila. I'm not going to say the other name because I don't want to mess up people's names. I, li I don't like it because I don't want people to mess up my name. So, you can do it. Guys, we are still here on the Movie Money. I am still with Tanya and I'm going to ask her a few things. What challenges did you face as a young, beautiful woman in the industry? Mm. <laughs> Oh, God, that phrase of that mm. question. You know. <laughs> but it's a very relevant question, by the way, eh? because it's mm -hmm. not easy. I know. For mostly this very male, re recently, not, not, all, not um, all male, but uh, mostly, male. mostly male. When we, Those years when we started, mm. it's been mostly male dominated. And for you to get a job, you'd have a male producer, mm -hmm. a male director, mm -hmm. a male cinematographer, Male, the only female would be probably the person that cooked your lunch. So you see the, how the, there was no balance there. It's quite hard to navigate the industry as a female because most times you're going to get asked to do very, very funny things. Things that, that, that go take away from your values and your, and, and your, your, 
upbringing basically and your beliefs and those things might not even necessarily look bad on the onset mm. because you might be in a scene and the director just comes since you're playing uh let's say prostitute and the director just comes and this but this is buttoned obviously you're acting like a prostitute and your aura and everything is but for him he just feels like showing more skin in that particular scene will do you good and then they'll just ask someone to open it up a little bit might not look that bad right mm. but sometimes when you look at a scene is this necessary for the scene like if my my button was on would that refuse the scene from going on and mm -hmm. would that refuse me from uh, being a prostitute mm -hmm. like you want me to be no no there are some things that are unnecessary they ask you to do and you don't even think about it but this is sexual harassment and we don't talk about it often because it has de been deemed the new normal mm. lately mm. Mm. so you you, you get on a set just because you have to have an intimate scene they ask you to go all the way put on a very short night dress so they could see what they want to see or you know kind of grab whichever audience they want to grab i don't know the reasons yeah but small small things like that have happened in my career and you think about it after you like oh that happened oh that was bad i shouldn't have you know done that mm. but it has passed so if you are if you have a chance to watch this interview and you are just trying to start out in the industry beware of vultures i call them vultures they're vultures they are. everywhere they look at you from the audition and they want to see something at the end of the of that film and they will make it happen even if you're playing a housewife watch it about for a night dress any short be very critical that's why i said know your worth if you know your worth then you can make some demands on on a movie set and you will be listened to because of the way that you have made those demands if you are not comfortable for, comfortable with showing a certain part of your body or mm. being a certain way you have got to make that clear from the beginning don't even laugh about it let someone not joke about it and you laugh no when you laugh that's an invitation mm -hmm. you know so make sure you are stern from the beginning that i do not want to show cleavage i do not want my thighs up at a certain a certain level when jagalo koma all those things make it clear so that the people that no, you're working it's, with no I, I think it's hard when you say it like that it's yes. it's, it's 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 what Seems it should be it should be done yeah but, but then you see like with our working conditions and you. the people that we work with thank you but also the the the, the rareness of the jobs that we're supposed to be doing yes. when a job comes through you're like i eh, am ready this is good. Exactly. so it takes yeah. the grace of god and mm. the way you you are up, brought up like yeah. your upbringing like you said or your values your beliefs to go like Manangi, I want the money, but you know, you're yeah. the enemy. Yeah. So it then, takes a lot of, I don't know. It's even courage. Courage. It's courage. For it's you courage to know to that you don't have a job, but this job you can't do because you, it's not, it doesn't goes suit against you. against you. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Tanya, have you turned down jobs because of some of those things? Because you, you read a script and you're like, I mm. can't be this person. Yeah. Have you turned out? Yeah. Some I have actually turned down because they are, that because I couldn't see myself actually doing mm. that role. I, I, I just could not. And that's okay. You explain to the person, the look, I don't see myself playing this person. Mm. Yeah. But some I have also turned down because they were a certain way that I didn't feel like I wanted to represent my, my brand mm. myself. I pick and choose lately what I want to be, to be in. And that's a good thing. Um, and that, what, what brings that about is if you have financial, independence anyway back to picking and choosing my my yeah. roles mm. i have turned down a couple of uh, roles because i i was typecast you know when you look at a person the first thing that comes to your to your head is the role that usually we get are the roles that usually we get given lately mm. when mm. our most of our producers look at us on the on the onset and they're like you go and read for Linda, yes. because they look at you as that Linda. You maybe you look like a doctor right now. I look like this campus girl that doesn't care, blah, blah. Mm. They'll ask me to read for that role. And I will do it well. I am an actor. I will do it very perfectly. They will give me that role. Over time, everyone that has seen me in that particular role is, the, is going to want me in that role. That same one. They, yes, they typecast you like that. Yet you can do a lot more. It's just that they don't give you a chance mm. to do it. Because they think, ah, Tanya, that's what I've got of your car. Uh -huh. Kato muntu na kueleza scripting, ejudo kukaba. 
oba omuntu nakweza nga wazanya ko kale just ngo side dish omuntu nakweza scripting ejudo kwe yambula like to, every where you turn puts off her top changes her clothes we see her in a rear view mirror blah mm. blah blah type of thing yeah so i have turned down, down most of those um, mm. of those jobs because of that but it also it takes courage it takes courage because they have come most times at a time where i don't have any gig going yeah so what do you wish as an actress or an actor in the industry very active what do you wish directors understood best about actors mm. as in you're like i wish the directors knew this about actors what mm. do you wish the directors understood best about actors that we work on emotion we might put up a, a strong front and we come and we are all tough and we're you know it's work but uh, but performers and i think even the directors themselves because they are creative people this creative industry works on emotion now when you understand that you're working with people's emotions every day you try it doesn't have to be a lot of money it can be an incentive like let's come and pick you up on a rainy day you're going to take a border you understand so you know your people you know that they are living by by the job every job that comes that's what you're living on most of us yes okay yes so you need to understand these are the people that i'm working with yesterday she slept hungry fine she has taken up this job she has taken up this job i'm not going to pay her tomorrow but understand that you're dealing with probably a hungry sad depressed person i'm not saying that babysit us i'm just saying understand if you, when you're dealing with emotion you egos have to come down and you have to, to 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 ask questions and communicate most of our our directors, projects, directors do not have proper communication skills and i say this with you know the, the the most loving in the most loving way that i could i'm saying this as a sister and as a mother and all that they don't have uh, proper communication skills so we do not get to actually talk to these people i like directors that call their people and sit them down first without having a table read just talking to them like getting to know them getting to know each other so that when we are working it doesn't feel like you're my boss i will be scared to say anything if you're my boss but if you are my colleague or if you are like a father figure or if you're my brother or my sister I will be comfortable enough to even tell you this mm. works for me this doesn't and this is how you create a beautiful and will also contribute because you you are going to play this person and you but think of course yeah but but of if course. he is your boss like you said you'd feel like ah na ngo no ngara bika to so atwena na umtandi not approachable yeah yes yeah they come and put up that you know it's not good you know we 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 work with emotions we work you know around how do i feel and how does this make me feel and how does this role make me feel how does this person make me feel it's all feelings <laughs> yeah so, so i wish they would understand that more okay uh so um what's that one thing you've learned about yourself that surprised you during this pandemic <laughs> <laughs> yeah during this pandemic yeah the times we, we, like now we back to work Man, slowly but i did not know that i was that patient <laughs> what do you mean mm, mm -hmm. i have been tried <laughs> okay. i am one of those people that have been so so very much <laughs> tried <laughs> if that phrase even exists i have been tried by the pandemic Mm. <laughs> I not really No no okay I, mm. I'm sorry I'm laughing but the way you're putting it it's as in how did this test well, your patience Because I I I didn't have I went without a job since the <laughs> pandemic started when the pandemic started my job stopped and I was forced to look elsewhere like to find other other avenues of 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 finance and that takes time business takes time you've got to be patient I did not have that patience <laughs> i'm used to shooting my episode two days and get paid type of thing so you you've got to invest time energy finances emotions mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. patience <laughs> i had no idea that I you are that patient. patient yeah but thank god thankfully we have gone through it mm. we you know it keeps getting better and better so yeah hopefully in the coming year it won't be that bad 
hopefully hopefully Hope, only if we can keep like observe the sops and yeah. try to be as in sometimes you see the problem with us i think we first thought it was political yeah clutch so can it go in this direction they make it poly they, they make it seem like it's political so to a man who is watching these people that are supposed to lead him somewhere th there's no guidance so obviously <laughs> fena fena <laughs> tugamba but okay, then, so uh, Tanya, as someone who has been in the industry, you've seen your good and bad and ugly days, but mm. what has been your biggest disappointment about our industry right now? Mm. The biggest disappointment mm. about the industry? Yeah. You as a person, no gamba, I think an industry of Tiari Gweti. Hmm. Osanga to Andy Vade Wetu. Singa to Vadeko and a copyright. Over Singa to Vadene, got to respecting Auntie all over representatives and all over managers. Hmm. And, and then, then, then we'll better have better jobs and better paying, you know, things. No, the Singa. I don't know how long it will take for us to embrace the the representation of of act of actors mm. because the musicians have quite actually uh, they have um, adopted the culture of uh, management and now it's it's a thing if you're a musician and you don't have a good manager you're not working you know you know working well so i feel like our industry also needs something like that if we do have managers then maybe we'll produce better products okay by managers you mean like having uh, for example you are under a management yeah. whereby if I'm, I'm i'm looking for tanya let me tell you something like swang's avenue comes okay. up and signs musicians oh yeah i want something like let's say tanya productions that signs uh, actors and and also creates jobs for them it's a production house so they start shooting and they create jobs for them they, they don't necessarily have to only act in the jobs of that production house they can also outsource and if this let's say three three production houses mm. were doing that mm. we would have better work there i would think be competition have... we would have better work yeah but you see the other challenge with production houses some, some the ones the few i know mm. A real, I'm talking about a serious production house. The reason why I mentioned Swangs mm. Avenue is because it is a serious artist label. It, it goes out for talent, scouts real talent. doesn't matter how you look or what you do as long as you can sing. That means as long as you can act and perform, then you get signed. None of those things of, I know this girl, let me bring her. No, mm, I like this girl. I like no. her body. Maybe you can have it, something right. with her at the end of yeah. the day. Yeah, her skin, blah, blah. No. Yeah. No, and that's where we go wrong. Most, most people, they cast mm. according to, you know. Mm, you know. Right. <laughs> So, time is actually running. It's not on our mm. side. Mm. <laughs> so you know, know, it has been a long time, you time know, coming. This know show. It is that you know, mm. So, Tanya, mm. uh, I want you to look into that lens and, okay. and talk to, to some young woman out there, young man, but probably went through some, you know, sexual harassment mm. or disappointment. Mm. It was something they really loved to do. Like, for example, they were loved to do movies or act or anything that has to do with filmmaking mm. but their first time was not all that good or encouraging so they gave up so they kind of gave up but they're out there they're like they're looking at you they're probably looking at what you've done mm. and they're like how did she do it so mm. i want you to look into that lens encourage someone out there tell them that the do's and the don'ts of course you cannot know everything but mm. some of those tips and tricks that you know mm. if if you can do a b c d mm. you're good to go mm. yes just advise your younger self that if you are lucky and you're out there what would you do right that mm. you didn't do right then yeah yeah <laughs> hi younger selves <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> i mean uh, by younger selves i actually mean this in the sense of um you know with the industry mm. if you're just starting out you're obviously my younger self right now um if you started the the industry sometime and you were disappointed by an experience a bad experience um, first of all, I'm so sorry about that. That happens, you know, everywhere in the in this entertainment industry, and we have got to protect ourselves. First of all, leave home with with, with a shield. Protect, protect yourself. Protect your heart, so that when you go and know who you are, know who you are, love who you are. Protect that because that they can't take away from you. 
and when you get into this workspace and it's a film set and you've been being asked to do things that make you feel uncomfortable go away from your values and from who you actually are say it make it clear and walk away with your dignity even if you have an empty pocket the pockets will fill the pockets will fill you you just need to protect yourself more because if you let that one experience get to you if you let somebody's words get to you then you don't know who you are then you're not comfortable and happy with who you are if you are nothing anybody will tell you about you that you will believe if you know that this is the kind of person that i am so know your work keep practicing keep pushing and love yourself <laughs> wow i cannot even say it better because on top of that know what you want and go yes. for it yes the right way indeed okay so tanya mm. as a filmmaker as an actor as an actress as someone who's who's into film mm. who do you look up to who is this one person mm. i don't know where this person is mm. but that person or maybe give me two that mm. you would wish to work with it can be someone an actor or a director or mm. someone you'd want to work along or work or work on a project they have written meaning it could be someone who's just a scriptwriter mm. but someone you know that writes beautiful stories and you wish you would be part of that storytelling mm. yeah so who are these two people it can be an actor it can be a writer it mm. can be someone anyone. from anywhere it can even mm. be john segawa mm. yeah so who are I these know, people i know i don't want to go very far as hollywood because obviously there's so many of mm -hmm. course that you would want to work with outside the country but now i think I have not gotten the chance to work with so many actors that I really feel like are so good and if we were put in a film together mm. it would be ah. anyway um I, I I I want to work with Michael Wawio Jr. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I saw worked that. with Senior I saw, I've been I, saw, I saw when you're like I cannot wait, wait. To work with Michael Wawuyo Jr. He knows this. I tell him all the time. By the way, I need to speak into it into existence. <laughs> Actually, I am going to work with Michael Wawuyo Jr. I feel like it. that's going to happen. Like even if nobody makes it happen, I will make it happen. I will write that movie. We shall produce it. We shall act it. But we have to work. I respect him and uh, his crafts, and um, I, 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 I think I would completely enjoy and feed off that energy. Um, I want to work with Rehem and Namfoka. I don't know why I've not worked with her yet. But oh, she's God. a darling. Yeah, she, she is amazing. I want to work with her. I want to work with Esteri Tebandeke. I want to work with, um, with Aganza Chisaka. I think, um, I, I think we are, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful time to be in this industry. One, because we are witnessing a generation of females taking over this industry producing writing directing and even acting so we are we're experiencing so many double-edged swords every here and there and mm. it's a beautiful thing i love that there are those the the, the, the elena nabuisos you know i love that the pamela kariokos are directing now uh, it's, it's 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 really good by the way like yeah, you said it, it's, yeah. it's a generation and yeah it's inspiring these women are going out there and showing us yo you can do this. It is not that hard. Nice. Yeah. So um, most, I, I'm looking forward to working with women directors and producers and actors. M most um, in in my coming, coming, coming near projects. future. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, Tanya, what are your five mm -hmm. all time movies? Ooh, it, like when times, like for example, when you're in the pandemic, and then the ones that you'd watch and forget the world is mm -hmm. happening. They, they, they make you feel either laugh your stomach off or I don't know but feel that mm. good so from number five. Oh dear like I can't have all of them like on no not they don't have to be five your favorites but just oh. any five it doesn't I, matter Sharon Stone the Nigerian Sharon Stone Genevieve, Genevieve Naji. Naji. oh <laughs> Sharon Stone men can be I wish I'd selfish. You remember that there's when she's like, look at all this. And <laughs> you want you don't want to share? And you want to <laughs> you don't want to share it with anybody. You want the all this. The woman made me 
see acting, made me see performing the way that it should be seen. Ah, she's like one of my first first inspirations in film actually. Nice. Yeah. So number four? Eh, Sharon Stone again. Now the uh, the, the the Hollywood movie Sharon Stone. What's her? Mm. I have forgotten her name, but yeah, Sharon Stone. Uh -huh. And then the other one? The other one. The notebook. <laughs> Who doesn't love the Titanic? I That's don't the know. next one. Okay. The Titanic. <laughs> and your last one would be? Ooh, child. <laughs> <laughs> Power of legacy, people. Oh my yes. God. I was like, oh, is she going to say something about it? And like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Finally, you mentioned Power of Legacy. So those yeah. are your favorite and you'd watch them anytime. All time, anytime, yes. Nice. Mm. So my people, my beautiful viewers, we've come to the end of the show. I cannot thank you enough for always tuning in to watch this show. But you know what Movie Money is about. Movie Money is about teaching you, educating you, informing you and entertaining you. We give it to you. All round, I'm sure you've learned a thing or two from what Tanya had to say about how she got into the industry, how she keeps herself in the industry, and what she's done to actually stay relevant in the industry. Thank you so much for watching Movie Manual. Keep watching REST TV. REST TV is your station, Banange. We have all that you need. We have the gospel, we have entertainment, we have sports, we have youth hub we have katika live we, all these shows zona zina wezu kujana ziku tuana tuwa tukulese wano movie mani wakendo kula banga atene ne weddings manji marriage it's manji vichi blise ja blichi mucho na tutuka ene tukukwa atako ene tukutereza so you don't have to worry because it is limitless entertainment tukua eviaba na abatone tukua eviaba abasam samaone tukua eviaba kulu wana wano wera but most importantly Tuvera now spiritually because we have our pastors coming in to give us the gospel, directing us, especially every morning with morning dew. You don't, can't do anything. And that happens every time, every day, Monday to Friday on Rest TV. So that's why I say you don't have to worry about anything. Take a call Rest TV. From morning back midnight, you're safe with Rest TV. Stay tuned and Movie Manual airs every Saturday at 5. You do not want to miss it. And this episode, yeah, I tell you, <laughs> heart, heart. Thank you so much. See you soon. I love you and God bless you. We needed to talk about um, actor, actress. You know how people introduce themselves. I am an actress. Mm -hmm. I am an actor. Mm -hmm. The difference and why you need to present yourself a certain way. Okay. Because some people will hear a woman say, I'm an actor, and say, Mm -hmm. That's a male thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But we need to educate these people that acting is an is a profession. You know, just like a doctor. Is there a doctress? No. Come on now. Yeah. Doctor. Doctor. Exactly. Because what Oh, you, okay. Even nurse. Role? You know that like, they're male nurses, but they don't say male nurse or na or nursey <laughs> to make it a male. No. You see, acting, what is acting? A person that performs a part in a play or in a film, right? Mm -hmm. Is that person supposed to be male? No. It's male or female? Yes. Yes. So, so I don't know why we keep saying actress. Why do we need to differentiate ourselves from that? We are actors. Yeah. Yes, we are. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>